We're just going to sing a couple songs. We know it's the Christmas season, so we'll just uh, sing a couple of Christmas songs, and then we'll begin to get started with our Pathfinder induction. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. It's greatly appreciated the support that we get from the church. Um, does anybody have a favorite? I mean, I have a few, but anybody have a favorite Christmas tune that we haven't sung yet, or maybe we have, but you love it so much, you just, the season ain't the season without it. It's in the 120, 30 range, or most of them. 133. 133. There we go. 133. Now, see if I know. Another one. If I pick it, you may not like it, so. One, two, five. Joy to the world. Keyed wrong for me. 
they're too high and I usually sing the bass line and it's hard to lead a group from the bass line. It just doesn't work well. So we're going to keep trying. One more. One of my favorites is 122, but it's another one that I like the bass line and it's hard to lead it from the bass line. So if, would somebody like to come up and sing the, the melody and then I can do the bass line and that would be just like comfortable for me? Thank you, Melinda, very much. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not, that's, that's not the one. It's the other one. I keep getting the two confused. Maybe it is. Angels we ever heard on high? See, that's the one I get confused. Park the Herald and Angels We Have Heard on High. I get those two confused. I know it's here. Is it 42? Yeah. That's probably the one I want then. Yeah, that's the one. One, four, two. Angels We Have Heard on High.
present colors. Pathfinders present Hunters. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Hunters. Colors. You may be seated. Can we have somebody extinguish the lights, please? It will get brighter momentarily, but. <laughs> Sorry. I hereby proclaim the induction ceremony of the Rapid City Pathfinder Club to be called to order and declared in session. For the light of our program, we now turn to the spirit of pathfindering. The candle which I now light represents this spirit, which is the essence of pathfindering. It is the spirit of achievement, adventure, awakening, and awareness. The spirit of beauty, blessing, commitment, camaraderie, and consecration. The spirit of dedication, duty, energy, and enthusiasm. Above all, it is the spirit of reverence and the spirit of service to God and man. This light is of itself not complete nor sufficient. To introduce the complementary lights, I now call upon the assistance of our pastor and school principal. So you're number one. This one. The Pathfinder Friend class is a course of study in spiritual awareness, intellectual learning, manual skills, and physical fitness that will enable the young Pathfinder to be a better neighbor in the church and the community and a friend of God throughout eternity. The Pathfinder Companion class is a course of study in spiritual growth, mental development, and learning, manual skills, and physical fitness that will enable the growing Pathfinder to acquire a deeper meaning to life and a meaningful companionship with our Lord Jesus Christ every hour of every day. Just light it off the match. 
The Pathfinder Explorer class is a course of study in spiritual development, mental growth and learning, manual skills and physical fitness that will enable the developing Pathfinder to discover new methods and experience new adventures in exploring God's written word and his created works. The Pathfinder Ranger class is a course of study including spiritual, mental, manual, and physical development that will lead the Pathfinder to new areas of discovery in the natural world, together with new and deeper spiritual understanding that will open the way to greater happiness and genuine fulfillment. The Pathfinder Voyager class is a course of study that will encourage and lead the more mature Pathfinders to dedicate themselves more fully to acquiring deeper and broader understanding of God through a diligent and consistent study of his written word and the marvels evident in his created works as seen through the book of nature. The Pathfinder Guide class is a course study that emphasizes personal growth and spiritual discovery, guides the more mature Pathfinders to the development of new survival skills, nurtures the development of leadership skills, and strengthens the commitment to being a dedicated servant of God and a friend to man. The Teen Leadership Training Program is a four-year course designed to train and mentor and challenge the Teen Pathfinder with new and meaningful responsibilities in the Pathfinder Club and Pathfinder Ministry and in the mission and outreach of the church. The program promotes the development of life skills, a sense of achievement and responsibility, a greater understanding and respect for authority, and a progressive development of leadership skills acquired and enhanced through actual supervised participation in real and meaningful positions of responsibility in the Pathfinder Club and the Church, thus providing the development of the next generation of leaders and assuring the successful passing of the torch of leadership. The Master Guide class is a course of study including deeper spiritual insight, greater mental and intellectual growth, and greater and more varied manual and physical skills that will enable the more mature candidate to become a leader and role model who will influence young people and lead them to acquire a greater knowledge and deeper understanding of our relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ as creator of the universe, savior, and redeemer of mankind, and our soon coming king.
The master guide is a prophet laying the foundation for tomorrow. The master guide is an artist working with precious clay of unfolding personalities. The master guide is a builder working with the higher and finer values of civilization. The master guide is a friend, his heart warming, his heart responding to the faith and devotion of his students. The master guide is a citizen selected for the improvement of society. The master guide is a pioneer always willing to attempt the impossible and succeeding. The master guide is a believer having steadfast and abiding faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. These candles represent all of the good and noble achievements and learning which are embodied in the Pathfinder program. They symbolize both the high ideals for which Pathfindering stands and the growth and achievement that each Pathfinder will experience as a member of the Pathfinder Club. We will now proceed with the solemn ceremony of the lighting of the Pathfinder Pledge candles. Candidates, I pledge by the grace of God, which means that only as we rely on God can we do His will. Sir, on behalf of the candidates I pledge, I will be pure, which means that I will rise above the wicked world which we live and will keep my life clean and pure with words and actions that will make others happy. May M, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge, I will be kind, which means I will be considerate and kind not only to all the people around me, but also to all of God's creations, the animals and the environment in which I live. On behalf of the can candidates, I pledge I will be true, which means that I will be honest and upright and study, work, or play, and can always be counted on to do my very best.
On behalf of the candidates, I pledge I will keep the Pathfinder Law, which means that I will diligently seek to understand the meaning of the Pathfinder Law and will strive to live up to its precepts and its spirit, realizing that obedience to law is essential in every organization. On behalf of the candidates, I pledge I will be a servant of God, which means that I pledge myself to serve God first, last, and best in everything that I may be called upon to be or to do. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge I will be a friend to man, which means that I will live to be a blessing to others and will always strive to treat others in the very same way that I will be treated myself. On behalf of the oh, sorry. on behalf of the Rapid City Pathfinder Club, I accept the vow of the candidates and their representatives to live by the spirit and the principles of the Pathfinder Pledge. We will now proceed with the lighting of the candles that symbolize the Pathfinder Law. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to keep the morning watch, which means that I will have a prayer and a personal Bible study each day. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to do my honest part, which means that by the power and grace of God, I will do my share of the work at hand and will always be there when others may need my help. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to care for my body, 
which means that I will be temperate in all things. I will never put anything harmful into my body, and I will always strive to, phys to stay physically fit. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to keep a level eye, which means that I will not lie, cheat, or deceive. I will always avoid dirty talk or evil thinking and will be mindful to both my mind and senses only to that which is true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of a good report. report. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to be courteous and obedient, which means that I will always be kind and thoughtful toward other people, ref reflecting the love of Jesus in my all my dealings and association with others. Sir, on, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to walk softly in the sanctuary, which means that I will always be quiet and reverent in church and during any and all devotional exercises or worship services. Sir, on behalf of the candidate, I pledge to keep a song in my heart, which means that I will always be cheerful and happy, so that the influence of my life will always be like rays of sunshine to others. Ma'am, on behalf of the candidates, I pledge to go on God's errands, which means that I will always be ready to tell other people about Jesus and will always seek to go about doing good to others just as Jesus did. On behalf of the Rapid City Pathfinder Club, I accept the vow of the candidates and the representatives to live by the spirit and the precepts of the Pathfinder Law.
We will now have the solemn privilege of each lighting an individual candle to symbolize our commitment or rededication to conduct our lives in accord with the high and noble precepts of the Pathfinder Pledge and Law. Will the Pathfinders please come forward for induction? Can you have the lights back off again, please? I now invite all those in the audience who have been Pathfinders in the past to please stand. Pathfinders, you're now, your light is now added to the other lights already burning brightly in our club, in our church, and across the land. And I solemnly charge you in the presence of these witnesses to let your light so shine before others in the spirit of pathfindering that all may see your good works and glorify our Father who dwells in heaven. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as Elijah passed the mantle on to Elisha, Lord, as, as Moses passed on the fight and the journey to Joshua, Lord, we see a new generation of pathfinders ready to receive wisdom of old and to grow in their abilities, their mental maturity, and ultimately into a deeper relationship with you. So Lord, as we take the wisdom that we have been given from you and continue to pass it on to this generation and preserve it for the future, we pray that each of these pathfinders will grow to understand the true meaning of the pledge, the law, and what it means to be a servant to God and a friend to man. These things we pray in your name. Amen. As we hold our candles of commitment and dedication, Let us raise our right hand in solemn oath as we recite the Pathfinder Pledge and the Pathfinder Law. Pathfinders, present arms. By the grace of God, I will be pure and kind and true. I will keep the Pathfinder Law. I will be a servant of God and a friend to man. The Pathfinder Law is for me to keep the morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, Keep a level eye, be courteous and obedient, walk softly in the sanctuary, keep a song in my heart, and go on God's errands. If we can have one, like just one of the back lights on, just so everybody can see the Pathfinder. Order? Horns. Let's all sing the Pathfinder song together. It's in your bulletin, uh, it should be on the inside. And we would just like all, all like to, to, to sing the, the Pathfinder song. Truth that will set us free. 
Pathfinders, you are now receiving your Pathfinder scarf, and you'll also be receiving a Pathfinder Bible. As Mrs. Larson and Ms. DeFluter are putting the scarf on your shoulders, I'm reminded of a time where Elijah was being taken up into heaven and his mantle or his scarf or that he was wearing passed down to Elisha. And Elisha was then imbued with the spirit of Christ and the spirit of God. So as you are receiving your scarf or your mantle today, we just pray that the spirit of God will fill your hearts and that you will, that, that the spirit will use you to reach the world in this generation. The Pathfinder aim is the gospel to the world in this generation. Yeah. We know that Jesus is coming soon, and we know that the world needs to hear it. As, as Jesus said, the harvest is rich, the workers are few. So as the spirit, as this mantle is being put on you, may the spirit be put upon you that you may be one of the workers, the harvesters, to prepare the world for the soon coming of Jesus Christ. The induction ceremony of the Rapid City Seventh-day Adventist Church Pathfinder Club has ended. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. You may extinguish your candle. Thank you all very much for coming, for your support. There's a little note in your bulletin about some of the things that we have coming up. And we just uh, can sit, just uh, really appreciate the prayers and support of our church family. We cannot do it without you. May God richly bless each one of you. And I was told that there's something in that other room. So if y'all want to hang out around a little bit and pop through those double doors over there, we may have something over there for y'all to enjoy. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you again so much for each and every pathfinder here, for each and every parent, for each and every family. We thank you, Father, for the support that you have given this club through this church. And Father, again, we just we know that your your son is coming soon, and we know there are so many people out there that just don't know it yet. So may you use each one of us in whatever way you see fit to reach the world in this generation. And we thank you in the name of your son. Be with us as we travel home. Amen. <laughs>